anti-tinnitus device drowns out ringing with electric pulses. New research coming out of the University of Michigan may one day improve the life quality of millions of Americans. Tinnitus is characterized as a persistent ringing or similar noise that can be heard in the ears. Lead researcher Susan Shore says that the dorsal cochlear nucleus, a region of the brainstem, is the root of tinnitus. Shore says that when neurons in this region become hyperactive and interact with each other, this generates the perceived noise. The experimental University of Michigan device tackles tinnitus via two senses. First, it plays noise and alternates that by firing a mild electrical pulse to the cheek or neck. This dual approach triggers a process known as stimulus timing dependent plasticity aimed at resetting the hyperactive neurons and how the brain processes the senses. Tinnitus is reportedly the most common service-related disability among veterans. It affects around 25 million Americans. Many learn to live with it, but for some, it can get so bad that it's life crippling. Stick around for more cool medical tech. No hand, no problem. An Italian woman has become the first woman to try out the first bionic hand with a sense of touch that can be worn outside a laboratory. Scientists in Rome have unveiled a portable bionic hand which uses sensors and electrodes to restore a sense of touch, trialing the technology on a woman who lost her hand 25 years ago. Sensors on the prosthetic hand detect whether an object being held is hard or soft and send electrical signals to a portable computer. The signals are converted into sensory impulses and sent to electrodes implanted in the upper arm, which then relay it to the brain. The process happens in real time, and the woman claimed she felt the sensation spontaneously as though it was her real hand. Unfortunately, she had to give back the prototype once the six-month trial period ended. Scientists are now working on miniaturizing the electronics and making the technology clinically usable. This smart bandage will help you heal like Wolverine. Mad medical tech coming out of the U.S. this month could put a wrap on bandages as we know them. Researchers have designed a smart bandage they say heals skin tissue three times faster than a regular medical dressing. It accomplishes this via medication loaded inside the bandage threads. Drug delivery can then be controlled via smartphone. The researchers say in the future, this could accelerate healing of battlefield wounds. Sadly, it's still got to go through more testing before it makes it to market, and that could take years. Breakthrough Nanochip heals injuries with just one touch. Researchers at Ohio State University have developed a new technology that allows the body to generate any type of cell to help heal injuries. Tissue nanotransfection involves placing a fingernail-sized nanochip on a patient's skin, adding a droplet of genetic material, and zapping it with an electrical current. The DNA is delivered through channels created by the current, and it reprograms skin cells to turn into specific cell types that can then be used in other parts of the body. When tested on a mouse with a damaged leg, researchers found vascular cells converted from skin cells formed new blood vessels that allowed the leg to heal in two weeks. The non-invasive technology was also able to generate nerve cells in the legs of brain-damaged mice. Once the cells were harvested, they were injected into the brain to help with stroke recovery. The nanochip also tested effectively in pigs and is expected to be approved for human trials within a year.